Welcome my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Melon Mishu. Today we've got a little summer hair tutorial for you guys. Clips are definitely in and I feel like I want to try and incorporate them in a few more hairstyles but we're going to go with this one first. You guys have been asking for this tutorial so of course we had to provide. I was actually initially recording this as a reel so there's going to be a couple split frames where it goes vertically but hopefully you guys still get a gist of what I'm doing. Now in this clip, you can just see me struggling to do a cornrow. I can do cornrows, don't get me wrong. I can do them sideways and diagonally, but I really struggle to do them back. So I don't know, I'll probably need to watch a couple videos, relearn how to do cornrows properly. Um, in the end, <laughs> it was just too much. But that's the thing about natural hair. Like there's always space to learn, but where you don't know how to do something, there's always a way to adapt to achieve a similar look. So in the end, I kind of used the this rubber band method to do like a fake cornrow in the middle. Um, I'm just tying the front piece, the piece behind, and then that piece, the piece behind that to kind of give you this, uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over social media. So this is what it looked like once it was done. And then I just took the side pieces out and split it into uh, two rows. The front row being slightly bigger than the back row. And guys, I know I'm not good at parts, so like, please don't judge me in this part. But um, I just cornrowed the front piece down and the back piece as well. Um, and I actually add a little rubber band in the middle because I wasn't sure if I wanted to unravel this part of the braid, like when I was gonna do the braid out, but you'll see that in a bit. Both sides are done and I'm just gonna take the back section out too and do a quick braid out. Here I'm adding a little bit of Camille Rose's gel to my tips just to make sure that the ends make sense when I take the braid out, out as well. Um, you guys can see how cute it looks there. And I'm just gonna do the same to my entire head of hair. I love rocking these kind of silky scarves um, to hide my braid outs whilst they dry. But in the end, I actually started using um, this half wig. Um, this is actually a different style, but same concept. It just like ties the whole look together. You look like a baddie whilst you wear it. And then you obviously can take your braid out, out a few days later. But for the most part, I was just in the house. So this is how I wore my scarf. <laughs> Now this part is absolutely optional, but I wanted to give you guys some options. So I'm actually gonna go in with some Rucker clip-ins. I will leave everything linked down below, all the products that I use down below. So um, I'm just giving them a wash because it's a clean braid out. I want the clip-ins to be in the best condition possible. And I just wanna show you, honestly guys, the quality of Rucker hair is unmatched. It just glides through, even with shampoo. I haven't put conditioner in, I'm putting conditioner in now. Um, the best thing to do with clip-ins, with natural hair clip-ins, is treat them as your own natural hair. So like, do the things you would usually do to them to ensure that they stay beautiful and bouncy and healthy. And this is not a sponsored video, but um, I just love the products, so I'm gonna share with you guys. We're just gonna do the same thing that we did to our natural hair with the uh, clip-ins. I'm actually just gonna be using the Almond J Twisting Butter um, to work with this hair because I just knew that it was gonna do what it needs to do. Braiding down, um, I actually put like multiple clip-ins together. So this is a couple clip-ins that you can see making up this braid, but look how juicy she is, guys. <laughs> Honestly, um, did that to all of the clip-ins and I actually let this dry for about two days, um, which was the same for my natural hair, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So 
so it's a new day the sun is shining um, we're in a good mood our hair is dried i had to sort out my edges because even though i put some edge control on it previously it was non-existent at this point i actually bought this edge control from ghana all of the braiders were using it there um it did a pretty good job i feel um i have no idea where you can buy this in the uk just set them in place put a little headscarf on and then we're going to start working on the braid to the back so i really 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 enjoy this oil again this is an unsponsored video but um just want to give a quick shout out to the guys at plant made this is the oil inches it's a black owned female owned Ghanaian owned business they make the most amazing high quality natural hair products that make your hair thrive and i've been using them for a few months now so if you've seen these products and you haven't tried them yet then i would definitely say it's worth the hype So I actually picked up this clip from Urban Outfitters. I am on the hunt for cute clips and cute headbands guys. So could you just leave a comment down below and let me know where you get yours from? Um, and I'll probably make a video like sharing different hair accessories and stuff, but this one is super cute. This is the first variation of the style. So with your all natural hair, just having it down, obviously depending on the thickness of your hair, the style will look slightly different. But for the second option, I'm adding the rooker clip-ins. So here you can just see me detangling the hair. I didn't even have to add oil into my hands because I knew that I kind of wanted to go for more of a puffy, frizzy look so the blend looked a bit better um but you can definitely add oil when you're taking the, the, the break clips. anyway she's cute she's cute just dividing my hair into little rows to add the clip ends in between and you're gonna need to play around with the clip ends like quite a lot you want to finesse the blend so just work it in um but yeah i really like the final results guys just had to quickly change my top so you can see the look tied together and this is what she looks like what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below but yeah this was a really fun style to make for the summertime Thank you if you've made this far into the video. If you like the vibes on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, like, comment, support your girl, all that love, all that good stuff. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next video.